This is LBC with Andrew Pearce. The White House, the race for the White House, an extraordinary development with the FBI confirming they have reopen the investigation into Mrs Clinton's use of private emails, which she should not have done, use private emails, when she was Secretary of State. There were thousands of these emails. Uh, it is just 11 days from polling day. Remember, earlier in the year, the FBI said her behaviour over the emails was reckless, not criminal. Donald Trump took a different view. Of course he would. He wants to beat her. Uh, Mrs Clinton has clung on to that fact that there was no criminal element, according to the FBI investigation. She's now, I would say, in serious trouble because the FBI have reopened the investigation because of the existence of new emails, which they describe as pertinent to the investigation. New documents, new emails that have been seen by the head of the FBI, who's taken this momentous decision momentous because it's so close to polling day to reopen the investigation knowing it could potentially have a catastrophic effect on the Clinton camp campaign. So let's get some American perspective on this. I'm joined now by Robert Vina, who's former spokesperson for the Clinton and Bush White Houses in Washington and is now a Democratic strategist and national columnist. Um, Bob, good evening to you. Hi, how are you? Well, I'm good. I don't think Mrs. Clinton's so good. If you were advising her right now, the way you used to advise her husband, what would you be telling her to do? Well, she's also a friend, and I've worked very closely with her. Um, listen, Andrew, uh, Robbie Mook and Huma Abedin, her two closest aides, were on the plane with her as she just uh, descended from the plane, and they didn't know uh, how to respond here because... This is so unprecedented. Uh, it's, it's like the FBI has uh, made a, a decision and they made their bed and they really should be lying in it and, and living with it because nothing changes the fact that they have looked at, at literally thousands of emails and uh, made the decision that no reasonable prosecutor would prosecute. What I suspect is that Comey, who is a Republican appointee, you've got to remember that, a Republican appointee, has just felt pressured uh, to come out with something that sounds like he's acting objectively. But for him to do it uh, and reopen and, and come up with a new decision 11 days before the election, to me, seems like the height of irresponsibility by the FBI. But if he'd um, decided to do this invest reopen the investigation, Bob, and hadn't told the American people, that would have come out after the election, and that would have been there'd have been an, a, an accusation of a cover-up. And if there is some... There's nothing new here that he's going to find. If he's going to come out and say there were emails that were classified, the, po the bottom line is there still aren't more than one or two uh, that were mistakenly marked classified at the time where there was some human error. He's already made that point. There's been several that were reclassified later and the law is very clear. So when this goes up and down, if it even does go to court, uh, they're going to find that these were classified later, which is one of the biggest glop factors that the government does because thousands of people have power of classification. And for it to happen afterwards, you can't blame the person who reads or sends or receives it at the time if it's not marked classified. So for them to now claim, and that's something that Comey did that was, I believe, irresponsible at the time, was him to say they were classified. Yeah, later. The key word is later, and the law is very clear on the fact that it has to be marked at the time. If that's where he's going, and if he's feeling pressured because he's a Republican, to me, as I said, that is the, art, the, the height of irresponsibility to try to impact an election when he knows that's what he's doing at this point in time. And maybe his true Republican bearings are coming out. But Republican appointment or not, Bob, you're not really suggesting the entire mechanism, machinery of the FBI would allow one man at the top of the tree to make a, an overtly partial political decision so close to polling day. Surely he wouldn't be able to do that. There must be proper grounds here for a new investigation because he knows how closely what he's decided is going to be scrutinized before the election and certainly after the election. Well, you're right. And that's why I believe it is a Comey decision from the top, uh, because uh, there was debate underneath in terms of what to do about this whole thing. And 
there has been a groundswell of uh, you know of people, Republicans inside the the agency that that decided that uh, this this wasn't a fair thing, and they realized that this is the only thing that they can come up with on Hillary Clinton. And I I want to make this point too. You know, the Clinton's email wasn't hacked. It only got it around it from other ways. Now they got it Podesta's emails. That's actually what's going on here, is Podesta's got out through WikiLeaks. So what should be investigated is the Russian hacking to impact the election. That is so, so far more important than a couple of emails from Hillary that got out because they, they, they were hacked through Podesta, through other servers. They said they're investigating Hillary's server and her use of the private server. The White House was hacked. OPM was hacked. Three million federal employees were hacked. Target was hacked. And WikiLeaks got out other emails, but nobody has successfully broken, successfully hacked, yes, but penetrated, no, <coughs> the Clinton's emails. <coughs> so what Bill Clinton did was set up a server that was protected. His server was protected, and the White House's and everybody else's was not. And so, you know, the Republicans who like the private sector a lot should be saying, hey, that's pretty good, and what are we doing using government servers that are penetrable, whereas the Clinton server was not penetrable? That is far more the case here of what should be investigated, the Russian hacking uh, to get at this stuff. And, you know, Trump never, never, Andrew, said anything bad about Russia. He's never said anything bad about Russia he actually changed the Republican national platform to take the Russian blame away for you for invading Ukraine. Yep, that's what he. That's what Trump has done. Sure. And he. And so you've got to get at the fact that the Russians are responsible for this loose email. Okay, but how damaging, Bob? With hand on your heart, you know this woman. You know her husband. No, it, you can, know, be, you, it can be very damaging. You know what I people say that. about her. A lot of people say there's something not quite right about those Clintons. This is going to feed that fit theory and thought. And is there anything she can do in the next ten days to push that back? Well, I certainly hope so. I hope that you know, from the guy who says that everybody should have nuclear weapons from Japan and Korea, they should all have nukes. So there, there's a yeah, but this is about her. Russia this isn't about him. But Bob, 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 this is about her. Statement, Andrew. You asked the question. Yeah. I get to okay. answer it. Go on. Okay. And the, and the point is, if they're going to take. This loose action by the FBI at the end, you know, to, to, to change the election when they can't remember that the, the Spanish are rapists and McCain's not a war hero and they shouldn't change the, and, and the minimum wage is too high. The guy who says all that and everybody should have nukes and uh, I'm going to bomb the S out of ISIS and, uh, and I know more than the generals do. That guy, that guy, they're going to take that. And make that president. I hope the Clintons come out with some kind of a statement. You know, again, the the way that they did it, it, it flat-footed uh, surprised the candidate. And clearly, they didn't alert Hillary. They simply sent this letter and just poof, sent it out. So that's very irresponsible. Usually, you do uh, uh, inform the candidate. Robbie Mook and Huma Abedin and Hillary herself were not informed, and she's about to talk in Iowa. And she's going to be flat-footed uh, from, uh, from this and say we're going to be investigating it. We're going to be looking at it carefully. All right, but... And uh, there's something very bizarre about it. And I think that, that we've got to figure out what it is that this all means. But it came across as a, as a blind shot out of the rear uh, by the FBI interfering with U.S. politics. And we'll see if that's really where it is. All right, that's Bob Wheatvina, the former spokesperson of the Clinton and Bush White House in Washington. He's clinging to the hope that he thinks this is politically inspired by the uh, Republican appointment, which was the director of the FBI. But I don't think that's going to wash... From sitting from where I'm sitting from here. What do you think? Oh three four five six oh six oh nine seventy. Robin's in Mill Hill. Robin, um, what do you make of this? If you were a voter in America, well, I am a voter in America. Actually. Oh, even better. And yeah, um, it's a real strange kind of election. I think at this point, I'm not voting for who I would like to see as president. I'm voting for who I hate the least to be <laughs> yes. president. Yes, I get that. And who is that then? Who do you hate the least? Trump. Right. Trump. And, yes. and, and what of this revelation about the FBI investigation? Has that made your made you confirmed your decision on why you would vote for Trump? Oh, absolutely. But even before this, since I'm living in London, I had to cast my ballot 
already. Yeah. And we only found out today about this uh, reopening of the FBI case. I'm glad it's done. I hope it's not done corruptly. Um, I don't, you know, Bill spoke with the woman who was in charge of the lynch, I think her name was. Mm. And the whole thing was just corrupt from the beginning. They were never going to put uh, Hillary uh, convict her. So I just hope that the investigation is now handled by different people that don't have ties to this Clinton clan. Well, Robin, thank you for your call. That's Robin, an American, a Trump supporter, the one, the candidate she's voted for that she hates the least. Is that the view of you? The candidate you despise the least that you would vote for? And what do you make of the fact Hillary Clinton is now in serious political trouble because this FBI investigation cannot be concluded in 10 or 11 days? This is going to dominate the election right up until polling day, no matter how many more women come forward to say Donald Trump groped their bottom, as we saw a former Miss Finland say today. It bored me too. Saw an interesting email here. It says this. It's from um, Jonathan and it says if she wins, it will be buried. If he wins, I think she's going to prison. That's an ominous thought, isn't it? What an ominous thought. What's your view now of the presidential election? How would you vote? Does your view of either candidate, is it improved or worsened by this latest extraordinary development? 0345 6060 Mrs Clinton is speaking live uh, in Iowa and we will at some point try and get to hear what she's saying and bring it to you as soon as we can. Uh, the time is now 7.46. I'm Andrew Pierce. This is LBC here with the LBC Travel, Andy Lake. Thanks.